It's my pleasure to introduce Blake Jones, uh, president of now Namaste. I told him if I didn't say it right, he could call me Bidden. Uh, but Namaste Solar. Thank you, Vice President Bidden. <laughs> to me, like Namaste Solar isn't just a place where I come to work and make money. This is also a place where I come to be with friends, to pursue my hobby, to pursue my passion, to participate in the community, to give back to the community, to, to save the world. It's all those things. At Namaste Solar, one of, the, one of the ways in which I know I'm home, so to speak, is that I love having all those things under one roof, doing them all at the same time. With every green job we create, our nation takes one step closer towards achieving energy independence, strengthening national security, bolstering the economy, protecting the environment, and improving public health all at the same time. So I'm honored to be here with Blake Jones of Namaste Solar. He's done tons of awards to your company, which is employee owned, uh, fastest growing, best place to work. So you're a great person to ask the question, which I wish I could have, I should have called you up a couple years ago. What are the best mindful business books to learn from? And what are the best mindful business organizations to learn from? Yeah, I think uh, we have an internal book club and some of our favorite books that we've read are by Jack Stack. He wrote uh, a, a great book called uh, The Great Game of Business about open book management. And he wrote another book, I think it's a, a Stake in the Outcome or a Stake in the Game, about employee ownership. Strongly recommend Jack Stack's books. And they're actually fun to read? They're fantastic to read. Uh -huh. uh, another book that we really like is called The Company We Keep by John Abrams. It's about an employee-owned cooperative uh, that's a home builder in Massachusetts. Uh, another one of our favorites is a book called Maverick by Ricardo Semler. It was written back in the early 80s, but it is a fascinating, inspirational book that'll definitely get you thinking outside the box. We love the Maverick. You buy that one for the cover alone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Small Giants by Bill Burlingham. Yeah. Wonderful book that highlights a lot of companies. I think the, the second title is Companies That Chose to Be Great Instead of Big. Mm -hmm. and, and just companies that want to pursue things in a qualitative way, you know, chose quality over quantity, so to speak. And this is something I read. I've never, other than, you know, uh, some Buddhist books like Pema Children, I've never recommended a book as many times as Small Giants. Nice. So that's a keeper. I love Small Giants. Yeah. We also like The Divine Right of Capital by Marjorie Kelly. It's a, it's a book that about, uh, about the shareholder primacy and about, she calls it arist aristocratic capitalism. And we love capitalism, but we want a more democratic form of capitalism. Divine Right of Capital is a really, a really neat book to read about that. And then the last one, just a fun one, we all liked Raising a Bar mm -hmm. by Gary Erickson, uh, the mm -hmm. Cliff Bar book. That was a really yeah. fun one. And, then, and we have a whole video with him about Raising the Bar. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. And then three organizations I'd recommend people check out. Uh, you know, we're very passionate about employee ownership, about B corporations, and about workplace democracy. And there is an organization for each of those. So okay. B Corporation, um, yeah, right. fantastic. Uh, to, to, to check out B Corporation, I think it's bcorporation.net. Uh, World Blue, it's, it's World Blue without the E. Uh, they're an organization, a nonprofit dedicated to workplace democracy uh -huh. in, in, all of its, in all of its ways. It's not just about decision making, it's about you know, transparency, uh, fairness and equality, uh, things like that. So World Blue, and they've got, a, they've got a conference every two years. And then the last one. Do you go to those conferences? Yeah, we love those they're conferences. They're worthwhile. Yeah, they're very, cool. very worthwhile, and you can hear people. Um, you know, who are practicing workplace democracy, leaders in workplace democracy kind of share their tips. Uh -huh. they, they, do, they do a lot of, a lot of speaking. Do you videos. present that? We do. We yeah. did one, uh, the last one on transparency, uh -huh. on our extreme transparency. And then the last one is the National Center for Employee Ownership, made up of companies that are passionate about employee ownership. There's a lot of different flavors of employee ownership, and they've got great resources on their website. Uh, they give a lot of classes and seminars that you can pay, you know, a discounted fee when you're a member to go and attend. And then they have a, a, an annual conference, I think it's in Denver next year, that's great to go to. You, you just learn a lot about employee ownership. You can see all the different ways in which companies structure their, their, their employee ownership model. And then, of course, there's a lot of, a lot of panels and speakers and uh, you know, seminars on uh, 
um, you know, creating a, an ownership culture, as an example, is a, is a really a really common one. Um, you know, all, all those kinds of things. So as, as many people have said, if you can make your work something you enjoy and believe in and also all your fellow employees, it's good for profits, it's good for planet people, uh, you know, our work can be play, it can be joy. So that's the point of all this. So thank you so much. Absolutely. Blake Jones. Yeah. Namaste, Solar.